Okay, everyone, welcome back to the shop. Um, I'm making a correctional video today, and uh, I made a blue. When I machined those bolts and threaded them, I stuffed up big time. Now, most of my threading has always been done with a full thread forming inserts, carbide inserts, you know, especially in CNC and that sort of stuff. And I remember watching my old buddy uh, Peter Pill being cut threads, and he goes, No, no, you've already got to set the cross slide on an angle. So when I shot that video last week, I had it on the incorrect angle. I set mine to 27.5 degrees from this position, and it was wrong. And Rasmus from OME Engineering reached out to me, and to keep me honest, so thank you, Rasmus. He goes, no, Aaron, you did that wrong. And he was good enough to send me a video via Instagram. He goes, no, from your compound feed pointing uh, straight ahead, okay, at 90 degree angle, you subtract that 27.5. So that ended up with uh, 62.5 degrees. And here, when I feed it in now, you'll see that it actually cuts right down that angle of the tooth um, and keeps that correct profile. So that's where I was going wrong and that's why I wasn't getting some nice uh, thread cutting. So what I'll do now, I'll take you over to the bench and show you the bolts and come off camera and let you guys have a look. So here's our completed bolts. Now, you may remember in the video, uh, Wayne, my customer, said he didn't like the double chamfer on the nuts and he asked me to make some more nuts. So that's okay, that's cool. I went off and made him some more nuts with the flat end on one side. I did just give them a tickle on the linisher just to get rid of the sharp edge ever so slightly. Now, another thing Wayne requested was he wanted me to get rid of the center drill hole in here. He didn't like it. It detracts from the uh, restoration process, and I can understand that. So I had to face the ends off and then gain some length back on here to make this head uh, reduced in size. Now, I'm getting a much better thread. 
if you have a look at these bolts now from this bolt here I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera okay to this thread here now using that technique that Razmaz uh, sorted me out with it's a much better thread much better profile and I'm very very happy with it well that's it for today uh, thanks for following on um, thanks for giving me the opportunity to correct my mistake and uh, I wanted to show you in YouTube land because a lot of people don't show their mistakes and or admit when they're wrong and I was wrong and I wanted to correct that in this video and just so no one else makes the same stupid mistake that I made you know um, to be honest with you I'm a little bit embarrassed that I made it but look I think it uh, it's better that you admit your, admit your mistake and move on move forward and correct it anyway look thanks for following on and I'll catch you on the next video Cheers.